Greetings, everyone. Raymond Lacoste here, Stormwind Studios. And I want to introduce you today to the Cisco Certification Roadmap. If you've never seen this certification roadmap and you haven't been to this site yet, I highly encourage you to take the opportunity to bookmark this particular page once you go to it, because it's going to be a page that you will want to come back to many, many times. So the certification roadmap is a way for us to constantly be updated about exam changes that Cisco is making. Now, there is always this unwritten rule that Cisco approximately updates their blueprint and exams once every three years. So once an exam comes out, three years later, they'll probably revise it. However, that was never 100% accurate or 100% true, but within three, four, five years, they always did major overhauls of their certifications. They're changing that approach now. No longer are they going to be doing major overhauls. It appears that they are going to be doing small, incremental adjustments and updates and changes. Their goal is to make changes to approximately no more than 20% of the exam or the objectives on a yearly basis. That's right, I said, on a yearly basis. So in the past, Cisco would do what? They would have an exam out, they would update their exams on a monthly, potentially yearly basis and not tell us about it. So the exams would constantly evolve over that time, but the blueprints wouldn't change. Could they add stuff to the exam without updating the blueprint? Absolutely. I've experienced that. So there was no communication with the test takers, the ones that were studying. So sometimes the exam could be a surprise, especially if you took training from someone, some organization, that built their course based on a certain blueprint and then all of a sudden the exam was completely changed but the blueprint was never changed. Then you prepared somewhat properly for the exam, <laughs> but there would have been many things on that exam that maybe were not covered. So going forward, Cisco says, hey, we are going to follow this roadmap for certifications. You'll see here, let's pick, for example, Enterprise. November to January of 2023 is when they did what? They reviewed that current certification exam. They reviewed that current blueprint. And then notice in February to April of 2023, they announced changes and they have absolutely done that already because it is now May, folks. And in May to July of 2023, they are supposed to do what? Publish the updated exam. So these is this is how they are keeping us in the loop on what they are doing. So if I scroll down now, you'll see for something like Enterprise, if we click on Enterprise, they'll show you all the Enterprise exams they are updating as part of that Enterprise track. Let's take a look at Encore. Notice it's going to be version 1.1. So because they have successfully announced it, we now have access to the new blueprint, the exam topics for the version 1.1 edition of the exam. If we go to the current exam page for version 1.0, this is the current blueprint. Notice they even have a nice blue banner here letting you know that the exam is being updated. The last day to test for this edition is September 19th, 2023, where the new version 1.1 edition of the exam is coming out September 20th, 2023. So it says September 20th, 2023, which is not in line with this roadmap. And that's okay. That's okay. You just have some extra time now to either take the 
version 1.0 edition of the exam, or you have a little bit more time to prepare for the version 1.1 edition of the certification exam when it comes to enterprise. So what you need to do going forward, folks, is you either need to, one, sign up for automatic notification. So every time they make an adjustment, make a change, make an announcement, you can get an email about it. Or what else? Just bookmark this page. Learningnetwork.cisco.com as forward slash s forward slash Cisco dash certification dash roadmaps. You don't need any of this right here. So by bookmarking this particular page, folks, you then want to set a reminder in your calendar so you can come back and review this page at least once every three months. Why once every three months? Because look, these are in three month chunks. So maybe in the middle of each and every single one of these, you might want to set up a reminder. So that way that you can come back and check, especially if you're taking any one of these certification exams in the future. Or if you're planning to take something like CCNA and then Encore and then an RC, maybe take some wireless, take some security, on this entire Cisco track, or all these different Cisco tracks, I should say, at least you can stay up to date on any exam adjustments. So if you right now you are planning or preparing for the CCNA, you'll see that they've already finished reviewing CCNA. February, March, April, 2023 is when they did that. We are now in May and they have not announced yet. They should be announcing May, June or July Changes to the CCNA. Now, there might be changes, there might not be changes. But here they are letting us know at least they're going to make that announcement in this three-month window. And then the earliest we could possibly take the exam is August. The new edition. But it could be September, it could be October, it could even be November, December, or maybe even January of 2024. We'll have to wait and find out. But folks, this is how you get to stay up to date. And when they announce any changes, you'll see that if you go under the actual certification changes, the CCNP release notes will do a side-by-side -side comparison of each exam that is part of that release. So you'll see here for Encore version 1.1 as an example, we've changed this, it's now this. We've changed this, it's now this. We've changed this, it's now this. And their goal is not to make any more than 20% changes to the exam, meaning that's the maximum they want to do. No more than 20% of the exam or blueprint should be changed. And in Encore, it's actually a smaller percentage. So CCNA will probably be a smaller percentage than that this time around as well. So that's your introduction, folks, to the Cisco certification roadmap. I encourage you to stay on top of your certification success by staying up to date on the changes that Cisco's making to the certification exams. For those of you who are interested in CCNA, I believe within the next few months, we should get an announcement. And when that announcement happens, I'll be more than happy to create a video about the changes that are gonna be happening to CCNA. So stay tuned for that video, folks. Keep on learning, keep on having fun. We'll see you in a future session with us here at Stormwind Studio.